Good morning guys. Happy, well it's Monday for me. So I am going to film a what I eat in a week. Now some of this I will show you every day but this part I'm just going to show you today because I do it every day and it's a little redundant. So every morning I start my day with either a lemon like um, hot water with turmeric root, lemon and ginger or sorry, lemon and honey, or I switch it for ginger, lemon, and honey. So every day I start with that. I normally have like a no electronics kind of rule for the first hour or so I'm awake. So I'll get my like drink. I'll wake up, I'll brush my teeth, I'll go get my drink, and I'll come sit down. And this really helps with like waking my gut up and my digestion in the morning. So I'm not one of those people who follows that like rule of you have to eat 30 minutes after you're awake. I listen to my body and if I'm not hungry yet I normally sip on this and about you know an hour into my day I'll get hungry but this every day so I'm not gonna show you this every morning today I'm gonna show you all of like the little fine stuff and then every other day this week that I'm recording and showing you guys stuff I'll just show you like meals and snacks but like all of the other things that I eat today that like an everyday thing if I show you them every day, it's going to get really redundant. So, it is Monday. Clearly, I'm not fully awake yet. And this is the beginning of my day. So, I will check back in with you guys when I have breakfast. It's probably going to be a green smoothie. We should not be shocked by now. So, I got a little distracted. And I didn't show you guys my breakfast. But I'll have it again tomorrow. So, I'll show you then. But I am now having... A little bit of coffee and it's more of like my own concoction so it's part coffee part herbal coffee so it cuts down on the acidity and then there's some tocos in it I think that's how you say it I'll link it below and it's a superfood that is supposed to promote healthy skin and then a little bit of almond milk so just simple slightly you know creamyish. it's not all like um, melted in there yet but yeah this is my little mid-morning treat okay guys so it's been maybe two or three no it's probably been a couple of hours since I've checked in and I'm not actually eating lunch yet I'm not like starving but I was feeling a little peckish and I feel like I just need a little bit of brain food I was feeling kind of all over the place so I am eating black berries coconut toasted pumpkin seeds and strawberries and I've also started some black beans that I pre-soaked so I can meal prep some stuff there and so I'll show you what I do with that but for now I'm just snacking away at this and I'm gonna get a little bit of work done okay so I thought I'd do a little update for you guys on dinner because I'm finally eating food although I did I've been cooking um sweet potato burgers for little out there from here come here baby um but I have an apple with some cashew butter earlier so I'm currently making show you sweet potato burgers and they're almost should be done soon I just flip them and then I'm gonna have some dill pickle chips and I have some broccoli <coughs> that I'm gonna steam in the microwave Okay, you guys, so I decided to check in one more time for Monday because I just made my hot chocolate, the, my healthy hot chocolate that's on the blog. So I'll make sure that that's linked in the description box below. And any recipes that I make throughout the week that, like, I'm using a recipe, I'll put those down there as well. If there's anything that you see me making that you want a recipe for, um, I'll let you know. I'll put it on the blog at some point once I kind of tweak it. I have an idea for a few things I'm going to make, but for now, I did a healthy hot chocolate. I'm still a little bit hungry, um, and this has a bit of healthy fat in it, and I threw in some tocos again, um, just to kind of see if it would make it any creamier, so we shall see, but I think, we'll see, but I think that's it for Monday. I think I will check back in with you tomorrow for breakfast. Good morning on Tuesday, guys. So I'm actually gonna show you my breakfast and kind of talk you through it. So this morning I did an acai bowl. 
and this is a um, I'll tell you what's in it but before I flip over and do that this is like a super green mix from Trader Joe's I picked up a while ago just to throw on top of uh, yogurt when I was traveling some cut up banana some coconut chia seeds and cacao nib. make lunch for Tuesday and this is what all is gonna go into this pot in a minute to do a little bit of like a nurse bowl so I'm gonna do like a broth base with zoodles and some um, I use just like the peeler for the carrots and then some chopped red pepper garlic um, mushrooms this is a vegetable powder concentrate pack there's some baked fish from earlier this week and some chickpea miso so I don't have an exact recipe for this but I'll kind of show you what it looks like but I tend to do these like once or twice a week and like I only used half of like this stuff and then I pre prepped it and then I can throw it all together later in the week and um, but once a week I normally have or at least a couple of times a week I end up having just like a warm broth based meal uh, depending on my digestion and what's going on so I will show you the end result so this is what my lunch turned out to be although I ended up making like double this size and I had to share it because my mother came in and wanted food so I will probably end up eating something else along with this um we'll see because this may not be as filling as I want it to be because it's not nearly as much as I was expecting to eat so we shall see but that is my little nourishing soup which you could totally prepep or put in like one of those glass jars and if I figure out the like portion and recipe for it all put a link in the blog and like write it all out for you guys or we'll figure it out but yeah so lunch on Tuesday dinner time beer you want to say hi hey say hi so dinner on Tuesday and it's super like leftovery didn't really create anything but I did put way more earth balance on that than I thought I did. So I had half a sweet potato left from making dinner last night. I had some steamed broccoli left from last night as well. And then I just did some tuna and I normally do it with like mustard, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil and throw some hemp seeds on top. So it kind of gives me a bit of a balanced meal and really just kind of made it because these are the things that I need to use up and then I needed a source of protein and I didn't really want another sweet potato. Um, burger because I'm trying to balance slash limit my greens so this is dinner I have which I was getting so I have eaten a little bit since I last checked in with you guys I had a um so for lunch you saw my little soup and then I've had I was sipping on like an iced coffee concentrate with coconut milk um before lunch and a little bit after lunch and then I did have like a square of the go raw chocolate I had a glass of kombucha, which is from my giant glass. I just poured a glass of that. And then I had um, an apple with a little bit of almond butter. Just because I was slightly hungry, it wasn't starving. And I knew that that lunch would be filling-ish, but I would probably still need a little bit more. Um, I haven't been as active today, so I'm not super concerned about eating tons. Um, so but yeah this is dinner and i'll probably be good I'm, I'm sure i'll end up i normally have like a tea or something at night um and i'll show you i drink like a magnesium drink every night so i'll show you that when i get to it so but for now yeah super simple dinner tonight just went with leftovers and i tend to balance my meals based on what's in the fridge and what i need to fix for myself and what i can fix for everybody else and if people are working what the schedule's like all that jazz so super chill super easy dinner tonight and i'm very excited all right guys so tuesday night and i am having hopefully one more little snack that'll kind of curb the last of my appetite pretty much the same as this morning it's got the rest of the blueberries rest of the blackberries rest of strawberries a little bit of coconut a little bit of toasted pumpkin seeds and some honey and then i have a peppermint tea brewing so Nothing crazy. I don't want to eat a ton before I go to bed. I want to give my body all that time to process. Bear's looking for treasures in the couch over here. What you doing, baby? But yeah, so last little bit of Tuesday. I'll check back in with you for a smoothie tomorrow morning.
say guys so i'm not sure if i'm gonna put the clip in yet but bear are you okay you're okay i'm not sure if i'm gonna put the clip in yet but if i did you would have just seen do you want to say hi okay. can you lay down please go lay down or come here so you would have just seen the clip of me attempting to make my smoothie bowl this morning and knocking it properly on the floor. So <clears throat> this is my smoothie bowl today. Pretty much the same as yesterday. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, I didn't put chia seeds in because it's kind of duplicated with the uh, seed mix on the far right. But yeah, so breakfast this morning and then i'm gonna make another iced coffee and head out i'm i have small group in like 30 minutes so i'm gonna sit here and eat this and have my little iced coffee and then go about my morning i'm not as hungry as i thought i would be this morning um but i know that if i don't try to eat this like i'm a little hungry and normally i'd probably wait until i was a little more hungry but i know if i don't eat this now that I'm gonna be starving as soon as I get there because small group is from 9 to 11. So I'm gonna eat this breakfast and I will check back with you around lunch. Okay, so my camera is set up right now for filming because I'm filming today's video. And I'm taking a break to eat lunch and then I film another video. So the lights are kind of going all over the place. Let's see, hold on. Oh, is that better? I don't know. So today's lunch is kale that I just massaged with that uh, Dijon dressing from earlier this week. And then I added the rest of the butternut squash and beets that I made. And then I put some of the black beans on it and some hemp seeds. So I have my healthy fats, my healthy, pro like my proteins and my carbs all kind of going on in here and using up some stuff in the fridge. So this was just one of those these are things I need to use. These are the things that look like they're going to wilt really quickly. And so I went ahead and massaged all of the kale. I made one dish for me, one dish for mom. And then the rest of the kale is in a dish for her to take to dinner. So I'm going to go eat this so I can shoot my next video. I'm also sipping on a stevia. And I will check back in soon. Okay guys, so I thought I would check in for dinner with you. And my dinner looks really kind of bland. But it's not. It definitely looks way prettier in the picture in the book, but you know, whatever. Um, so I made this butternut, butternut bean and cauliflower soup from Madeline Shaw's A Year of Beautiful Eating. And, oops, sorry. Any of the cookbooks that I'm like cooking from this week, I'll link those in the description box as well. Uh, but I try to do like alternating days I really I try but it also depends on what I'm feeling what I have what's going on you know whatever um, so if I'm doing sometimes I'll do you know I'll have animal protein sometimes I'll try to do full days of you know vegan and today was a full day of vegan so breakfast was my acai bowl then I had which I forgot to put um, MCT oil in so I'm glad that I ate it a little bit later because I did that. I knew I'd be hungry earlier because that um, added oil normally keeps me fuller for longer. And then for lunch I had that kale salad situation with the black beans that you saw. And then a, like maybe an hour and a half after that I had an apple with some cat almond butter. Today was almond butter. So then I was sipping on a Zevia for a bit there and filming two videos which you had already seen prior to this one going up and if you haven't seen them go watch them and so now for dinner i'm having this soup i don't know that it'll be enough um it serves for we're all having a serving and then there's still some left and yeah i don't know we'll see surprise surprise i'm eating strawberries but i drizzled some of that um coconut the chocolate coconut butter that I have on them there are more of them for sure and then I'm trying to make some coconut whipped cream it didn't really go like I planned but yeah this is my like 
little snack slash dessert. My, um, there was a little too much, I threw a little too much chili flake in that dinner and it's kind of irritating my stomach. So I ended up not eating all of it, but this is what I'm having now and then I will probably reach for some tea for sure. Good morning on Thursday guys. So instead of showing you my morning smoothie and my morning coffee, which I don't actually have every day. Um, sometimes it's too acidic for me and sometimes I stick with like an iced coffee and today I'm just opting for my normal warm coffee. Sorry, the camera looked tilted for a second. Um, so, but instead of showing you, cause I'm probably gonna have a smoothie bowl again, that's really just what I'm like in the mood for today. And I feel like that would be day three or four of showing you a smoothie bowl. And I think you're kind of over the smoothie bowl, but I am going to try to figure out the recipe for the base for you guys. Um, so I can put it on the blog because I was using the frozen acai and now I'm using the powdered and it's different. So, and you're really just getting to see me in like all phases of life this week. Like I am not awake right now. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit later today. I slept in last night. My body is just really, or I slept in this morning. My body's a bit tired, so I'm taking it a little bit lighter today. Um, kind of gonna listen and see how I'm hungry in that way. But one of the things I wanted to talk about that I haven't kind of addressed yet in this video is what I'm eating in a different way though. Meaning that what I'm eating might not necessarily but be what you need to eat. So my goal is to give you ideas and to show you how to make it work for like how you can make it work, give you some options if you're, you know, you need to throw to get together last minute meals, maybe you're just looking to try something new. I'm sharing with you what I eat, but that doesn't necessarily mean what I eat is the best thing for you. Obviously, if you love cinnamon and cinnamon works for you, well, A, I'm jealous because I can't have it right now. And B, there's a difference. You can have it and it doesn't vibe with me. So take the time to, you know, it, even if whoever your favorite fitness person is, whoever your favorite Instagrammer is, whoever you're following, just because they're eating something and they thrive on that doesn't mean that that's what you're going to thrive on. And that's okay because your story is just as important. So... I'm going to take my supplements that I put in my little cup because I look like I'm in a hospital right now apparently. Um, and if you want a video or you want a blog post on what supplements I take and why, let me know in the comments below. I'll go over that. That's fine. Um, I take my supplements and drink my morning coffee with almond milk and tokos today because that's what I'm feeling. And that I, next time I make it, I'll show you guys the herbal coffee that I'm like mixing in. Um, so that it's not as acidic and you know one of these days maybe I'll be able to drink a full cup of it I don't know about that because mom tried yesterday and she was like it was awful so whoops but I'm gonna drink that so my eyes wake up a little bit more but yeah here we are Thursday my burn's still healing and you're getting like full skin updates every day although some of this looks worse on camera than it actually is but yeah good morning Alright guys, so dinner time on Thursday. I'm having salmon with some zoodles and some pesto and I like heated that up because you process zucchini better when it's cooked a little bit. And then there's some fresh basil and some nutritional yeast on top. Now I did have a snack earlier and there was just a little bit of this um, coconut bliss left. And then I had that with uh, apple and some almond butter. So. I haven't been eating a ton today. I'm actually really thirsty and not crazy hungry. But yeah, this is dinner, so lots of healthy fats going on tonight. Happy Friday, friends. So, we're skipping breakfast again today. I took a picture of what I made. It was another smoothie bowl. I did a side bowl, and I'll post that right here so you can see it. It was on my Instagram if you didn't see it there. But I'm not quite having lunch yet. I went to the gym this morning. I ran some errands. My hair is wet. We're post shower I'm about to do some work I think I need some moisturizer um, and I wanted to show you really quickly what I snagged target today because I know that not everybody is super into cooking or has a lot of time to cook so I like to show you guys the things that I buy and find when I'm out so that people who are like that can still have options and that you don't just feel like 
there's no hope for eating healthy unless you just cook all of the things. So I grabbed these little layer bar bites. These are the caramel sea salt ones. I liked, I wanted to try the mint chocolate ones, but the mint has sugar in it. Um, I don't know if I had soy. A lot of times things will have soy in them, like some kind of chocolate, and it'll either have like sugar cane or soy, normally both, and then I can't get them. Um, but I got these, and so they have dates, almonds, maple syrup, dried coconut, coconut flour, sea salt, and vanilla extract. So super simple. Grab these so that I could have a few bites of something post gym because I was a little hungry, and I had to do a little bit of shopping for my parents. So I didn't want to like, sorry, there's something on my. Eye. I didn't want to go out and shop and eat all the things. And then I also grabbed these layer bar nut and seed bars and. These have almonds, honey, sprouted cheese, seeds, cacao nibs, unsweetened coconut, maple syrup, coconut oil, cocoa powder, and sea salt. So, um, these are all good little options, and with the sprouted cheese seeds, it's better for you. So, or at least it's better for your digestion, I believe. So, that is what I'm having right now. I was, I didn't really feel like cooking, so I'm going to have... I'm not going to have any more of these. I've already had like one and a half servings of those. I'm going to have my little bar and then my iced coffee because it's National Coffee Day. Uh, iced coffee with coconut milk that I made at home. We just happened to have those Starbucks cups. And yeah, I'm going to do some work. So I'm going to do, I think, turkey meatballs later. And I'll show you guys that and link the recipe below on that one. I'm going to do turkey meatballs with spaghetti squash and like a sauce. Um... And yeah, I think that's going to be what I have when I get to that. I'm really, I just, I don't feel like standing in the kitchen for a really long time. And I don't feel like doing a lot of cooking right now. So it's snack time. A little bit of snack mode. And that's, I promised that I would be real with you guys. And it's obviously period week for me. So my laziness might kick up a little bit more. Slash my chocolate levels kick up a little more. So you're really getting like an honest look at what I eat in life here. Um, and yeah. But I will say that for any of you who have been watching this far and think or she really eats like that, is that like legit? This has taken me a really long time to get to. Like, I used to be a notorious snacker. I would just graze throughout the day. And it's only really been since I've read and kind of dived in with what works better for my body and have kind of like tuned in that I've been able to kind of create this platform for myself. And... Yeah, but I'm also going to do a week of this where I do it like a meal prep way so that you guys can see because I'm at home and I work from home and I want it I want to I want to help you guys be able to do it for yourself. So, I will check back in with you guys whenever I eat blubber, so lunch, lunch, supper, whatever I eat next. We'll talk about it then. And this is dinner for Friday night. So, I use the goop recipe for turkey meatballs. And then I had some breadcrumbs on hand, but when I checked them, sorry, the TV in the background is really loud. Um, I checked them and they had sugar in them, so I didn't end up using them. They were gluten-free, and I thought I might use them because that's what is like in the recipe, but I ended up using almond meal, almond flour instead. So that and then the base is spaghetti squash. So I will put a link in the description box for that, and then I'm thinking that I'll probably have maybe popcorn tonight i don't know uh popcorn i don't always agree so i have some strawberries in the fridge and i might do that i'm kind of craving some like sweet and salty so maybe popcorn with like a chocolate drizzle we'll see i'll show you if i make it i haven't done like a chocolate drizzle in a while because normally i use uh chocolate chips from enjoy life but i'm not having those so we'll see and bear's about to steal my dinner so i gotta go Good morning guys, so I'm about to walk out the door and I thought that I would share breakfast with you. We're back on the green smoothies, so coconut milk, um, the amazing raw green powder, some like protein powder, I have um, my collagen in there, I also have my MCT oil, some chia seeds, and I feel like there's something else but I'm forgetting. Um, I'll link it or write it in the description box for you. But yeah, I um, I put some coconut water in there. But I feel like I've had a fair amount of sugar this week. And I kind of wanted to calm it down. So 
green smoothie this morning and then I have my iced coffee as well and I'm heading out for the day. I packed my lunch just on my shoulder and I have a bar, um, like a paleo vegan bar I'll show you later. And then I also have the leftover turkey meatballs last night with some zoodles. So yeah, that's my plan for what to eat today. I will let you guys know later if I kept with everything or if anything changed. So I'll see you this afternoon. All right guys, so it's Saturday night and I literally Saturday is going to be a very short day as far as telling you what I ate. I um so the last time you saw me my makeup was much more fabulous and now I just finished doing my nightly routine and getting into my pajamas and all of that jazz and I kind of wanted to fill you in on what I ate today and how that ended up playing out. So I had half of that green smoothie I showed you this morning. Um, when I don't do like full workouts before, that kind of smoothie tends to be a bit more filling for me and I don't always drink it all. So I had half and I saved the rest and I'll probably throw that in whatever smoothie I make tomorrow. And then, or throw it in the freezer. Um, and then I had the Bearded Bros, one of their bars today. And I was looking through the variety pack and I was really excited about the Maca one, but they use Mexican chocolate in it and it has cinnamon, so. I don't think I'll be trying that one. Very sad about that. Um, but I did have the blueberry one and it was good. And then for lunch, I had what I told you I was gonna have. So I had leftover turkey meatballs from last night and some zucchini noodles that I had spiralized and I just took that with me and heated it up. But then when I came home, it was a little more downhill. And I was so all over the place with it that I didn't really like show you guys. I'm like, I can't show you guys what I ate. Because I was just like snacking and like nitpicking and I couldn't really figure out like if I was craving anything and if I really wanted anything. And so I just kind of ended up like picking throughout the kitchen. Like I ate a few of those layer bar bites from yesterday. I ate another one of those layer bar things from yesterday. And then I ended up like I couldn't find anything that I wanted to have for dinner. I couldn't nail down if I had any cravings for anything. I thought that I might like order like a gluten free pizza but then I still didn't really want that. Like I still kind of wanted something healthy and nothing was like thought out or in a place that I could cook anything that I really felt like I might want. And so I'm trying to think of what else I had. I had a few bites of mom's salmon and I stole from her plate when she was eating a concoction of leftovers. I had some kombucha, I had some, I made some popcorn and I did like a chocolate drizzle and I had a small amount of that. Like I was very all over the place and none of it was like an actual meal and there weren't really a lot of vegetables going on. And so yeah, that was my evening. So if you feel bad because you have one of those days where you're just snacking all over the place or you don't really know what you wanna eat or you don't feel like you're really like on point with your diet, don't feel bad like it's not the end of the world guys this is i'm very much in this process of getting myself where i want to be health wise in all the aspects healing all the things you know making sure that my body that i'm i love my body and i'm comfortable in it it's all a journey for me too and i'm taking you guys along on that so you know know that you try things and even if it doesn't work for you you learn and then you try something different and that's really what matters for me I've learned that I really need to focus on just getting my activity level and my day up more I've been getting really good about cleaning up my diet and having a pretty on-point diet for most of the time but to kind of compensate for some of that like fluctuation in general I just need to be more active and that's that's part of what's put me where I am right now and where my body is struggling with some health things is that for three years I walked from 10 to 14 miles every day doing work and my body is not at that activity level and so everything in my body has readjusted and so now I'm kind of having to flip the script on that and find what my active levels look like now. So I'm rambly but I don't know that I'm going to film tomorrow because I think I'm just going to have a nice little lion and have drink coffee and kind of work from bed. I'm really looking forward to that. If all of my electronics want to love me, that would be great. I'm trying to squeak the last life out of everything until I can save up enough money to replace like four different things. So 
send good vibes and prayers my way please but yeah i hope that this week has really just given you an idea of some food options and shown you that healthy eating doesn't have to be crazy and that you can use it to kind of accommodate and make meals for multiple people and kind of find that middle ground at what works for you so i love you guys i'm so glad that you're here if you aren't already subscribed to this channel please click that button and make sure you like this video because it really supports my channel so i love you you matter to me i'm so glad that you're here on this journey with me and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys